It's become this cool, like trendy thing to do to hate on men in our society today. I think it's important to call people out on it. You know, as women, we are always saying, why aren't men calling out other men for their behavior? Well, you know what? The same goes for women. And I'm gonna get a little sassy in this video, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. I even got my laptop out. I have never gotten my laptop out for a video, but I am just so baffled at women, and not all women, obviously, but like, as a woman myself, I wanna call it out and talk about the ridiculous man-hating culture that we're in. And I have something specific pulled up here on my laptop that sparked this video. Modern feminism is bullshit. The origin of the feminist movement was to get equality and respect, okay? To be looked at as on the same caliber as men are and not to be considered incapable or subhuman or anything like that. But what it has turned into is the reverse. It's it's man-hating. It's, it's exactly what feminism wanted to fight for women. It has turned the tables and done the same thing with men. So let's talk about this. I'm going to read this post. It's a group that I'm in on Facebook. That's a woman's group. And I, there's a thousand comments. Okay, most of the, the things on this page have like, here two comments, 47 comments, 150 comments, three comments, seven. This one has over a thousand. Okay, so let me read the post and then we're gonna talk about it. Anonymous, good on her, posted, how do you feel about paying off your man's credit card? It's literally only $1,000 but he says he can't pay for it him, he can't pay it off himself and needs my help. He also wants me to help pay off a mattress he got on his credit and he wants me to pay for my part, my part as a woman on his health insurance. I do make almost two times as much as him and I don't mind helping, but at the same time, it's the fact that he keeps asking me to help him because he's struggling so bad. We keep all of our bills separate and have our own bank accounts. He said he blames me for when I couldn't work and he had to take over some of my bills. So that's the basis of it, but I wanna go a little further because in the comments here, she responds at some point, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it right away, but she's basically saying that he also pays for all of their dates, he pays for all of their trips, their vacations, and he pays for all of her cosmetic things like her hair and her nails and her makeup and all those things every month, okay? So this woman is making two times as much as her man and he is paying for pretty much everything, okay? And her, and then she edits the post and says, it's not about the money, it's about paying for a man. I spend a lot of money on me and things I want. I just feel weird giving money to a man. He's never asked me to pay for anything in four years. Here it is. He's always paid for dates and trips and every month pays for my lashes, my nails, and my hair. He said he would pay me back even though I said it's not necessary. I just have trouble understanding why a man would need help from me. Are you kidding me? And then what's even worse about this post is all of the women agreeing with her and saying that she shouldn't help him. Run for the hills, sis. If he can't take care of you, he can't take care of any, and, and he can't take care of himself, then what are you doing? As a woman, I understand wanting to feel secure in a relationship over just, you know, emotionally and, and physically. Like, we want those things, right? And of course, we want to feel financially secure as well. I get that, and I understand that, and I can relate to that. Here's the thing. Women fought to get into the workplace, right? And the same women that are posting this crap are the ones saying, I'm independent, I don't need no man, I'm a boss bitch. 
But then when it comes down to it, no, they're not because they want a man to pay for their lifestyle and for everything. And, and there's just no compassion or sympathy or partnership in this. I'm sorry, but clearly this guy is trying his best and doing his best to provide and take care of her and paying for everything. And she's gonna turn around and have an issue with helping him pay off a thousand dollars in debt that he accrued, that he got because of spending money on her when she has the financial means to do it herself and then having an issue with it just because he's a man. She actually says here, I just gave my friend a thousand dollars to move into a place and I don't expect it back at all because she, she capitalized, she is a friend. I just feel weird giving money to a man. <laughs> if y'all want equality in the way that you say you do, this is bullshit. And I am just appalled at, and there were many women in the comments that were feeling the way that I do, but there were hundreds of them that were agreeing with her. Like this woman says, I totally can sympathize with this. I had a man for three years doing the same things for me. If a man wants a relationship with me, he cannot need me to carry him. I want my man to be a provider and protector. I am able to take care of myself, but there's nothing wrong with wanting a masculine man and being a feminine woman. As you guys know, if you've followed me for a while, I am all about traditional roles. I love the traditional feminine and masculine gender roles within relationships. Obviously in this case, we're talking about heterosexual relationships. But a relationship is a partnership. And when there is no sympathy and when there is such extreme manipulation coming from the woman's side, and again, for the people that are gonna come at me, I know men can be manipulative too. I've been in those shitty relationships, but that's not what we're talking about here. You are not entitled to someone's money or anything else for that matter, just because they're a man. If you truly want there to be an equal partnership, then what value do you add? What value does this woman add to this relationship? If he's paying for the food and the trips and all of her stuff, what is she bringing to the table? Okay, and a lot of times, yes, bringing your true feminine energy is enough for a man sometimes. But this manipulative entitlement is disgusting and I'm embarrassed that there seemed to be so many, I, I couldn't believe how many women were agreeing with her on this post. Women are all like, oh, you know, this guy doesn't want me or I've been in this relationship for years and he hasn't put a ring on it, whatever. Why would men want to be in a relationship when they're being taken advantage of like this? Put yourself in their shoes. If, if the majority of women felt this way and think this way, why would you ever want to be in a relationship or a marriage with one of them. It's, it's actually just disgusting to me. Here's another one. You're not selfish. Let that man take care of his own bills, LMFAO. I'll never pay for a man, throw up face. It's almost like for these women that the only benefit that they're getting from a relationship is financially through a man. And let me reiterate, this woman is making two times as much as him. And here's the thing, as a woman or a man, you have every right to have specific standards. And if that person doesn't meet those standards, then okay, but don't call that love. <laughs> if you're with someone and the only value that you see in them is the, the money that they bring to the table, don't tell yourself, don't kid yourself that you love them. No, you don't. You're using him. Here's three in a row. Ew, dump that man. The next one, don't give him a dime. The next one, 
girl run don't ever pay for a man's shit unless he's your husband but even to that comes to a point he's paying for her she wouldn't even be paying him back she would be paying probably a portion of all of the things that he has spent on her i'm just oh god i'm so disgusted how did we get here you guys like seriously when did women become so entitled? It's almost like, you know, women get upset because they feel like, and often it is the case, that men use them for sex, right? How is this any different? Think about how, if, if you've been in that position and you, and, and you know, a man was only using you for sex or for whatever, you know, something along those lines. How did that make you feel? So if it made you feel that way, how do you think they feel taken advantage of, used, manipulated? It's the same thing. You know, if you have a relationship and you guys are set up and have laid out what both of your responsibilities for and you do fall in that more traditional type of role where you know, the man is the one going out and making money and the woman is staying home. Oh, of course my camera's gonna die. Oh, I just wanna say, then that's fine. You know, you can have that relationship and define that, but you need to be with someone who shares those values with you. And it sounds like this guy was trying as much as he can. So before my camera dies, I just like do better women. I'm gonna call you out because we need each other to hold each other accountable. Men deserve us to show up for them the way that we expect them to show up for us. All right, so just have some decency, have some compassion, and have some respect for your partner. And if you don't, you're never going to end up with a genuinely good, loving guy. Unless you can appreciate him and unless you can bring value into the relationship as well. You are not entitled to anything. And uh, that's a wrap.